what's up everybody thank you for coming back and tuning in to higher rezoning and uh this is what we're going to be talking about today is the mastering of the different waveforms and what the real understanding of jedi is okay so uh just to start off with you guys go ahead and uh like share subscribe right and uh we're gonna go ahead and get this ball rolling so when I was talking, like I was talking about last time, uh, phonetic sounds, okay? These are tonal registrates, you know what I'm saying? It's a, like the home, right? Um, your whole wreck and get killed, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Om, om, padme, om, like that's all chanting and, and meant to hold vibrations to bring you into a certain state of mental awareness, all right? A certain, a certain state of control over your own ethers, okay? <clears throat> so... The Jed is the the pillar of Osiris or the pillar of Ptah. You've seen it before. I'll do it up for you real quick while I'm talking. But uh, what that Jed is for is to remind people of the authority of Ptah and Osiris on Earth. Okay. And this authority is over the aethers. It's over ether, your light, your air, your water, and your earth. Okay? So, mastering the waveforms is mastering these different wavelengths of energy. This is what they were doing. Okay? The Jed, probably seen it before, looks like this here. Something like this, we just do a rough joint. Maybe I maybe I make a painting of it and put it at the East Side Reunion, you know, and put the jet in there somewhere. Something like this. Pillar of Osiris. Okay. Pillar of Ptah. Okay. Even sometimes associated with Oset. Isis. Because of the Ankh on the top. Okay. Which is what? The male and feminine aspects combining to become light. Okay. Light. Atop the pillar. Used for the divine authority. Yeah. You. You. You where I'm at yet? We're going to get there. Don't worry. Okay. So, <clears throat> when most people hear the word Jedi, they think Star Wars. Why do you think it's called that? I think it's called Star Wars. What are stars? Stars are representatives of soul and spirit. What is a war? A conflict between the light and the dark. Right side, dark side. You see, they've been telling these stories. People just have been too fancified by the shiny to see it. Yeah? This is why your lightsabers look like this. Little bullshit switch right there. Right? And thing about that is, what is a lightsaber? You know, we're going off the top of that thing. We'll come off the top of that lightsaber. What comes off the top of that thing? Light. Yeah? Lightsaber. This is where that idea comes from. Don't let them fool you into talking about, oh, we made this up, we're just that brilliant. No, they're not. None of them are that fucking smart. They're smart, but they're not that goddamn smart. Okay? So, all of this ancient knowledge, everything you've seen in these movies, everything you read in any book comes out of Cain. It comes out of Kimmon, comes out of Canaan, comes out of Cush, you know what I'm saying? Like, this understanding of how physical words and vocalizations focus in, okay, and they congeal sound and energy into an actual force, into a, a point particle, if you will. You know, that's what you're doing when you're focusing something. You are focusing all of your energy into that one spot, which creates the manifestation, okay? 
doesn't matter if you're doing it physically. If you just say a thing, you can say a thing to a person and completely mess their life up. You see what I'm saying? So real doesn't have anything to do with physical. Okay? That's the first thing you need to get, get through your head when you're talking about what's real and what's not. Real does not equate to physical. Real means extant, that it exists. Okay? So, in becoming a Jedi, what you are doing is using your authority and your strength and your stability, right? And your ability to create light. You are wielding this light as a weapon against the darkness, ignorance. Okay? That's what a real Jedi does. Makes you unshakable. Fear is not a thing because you control the darkness. You see, that's what being a real Jedi is about. It's not about fucking flying around and having the high ground. It's not, that's nonsense. That's all nonsense. These stories have become crap because the writers who are writing now don't know any of this stuff. Everybody who wrote all our favorite movies and songs and videos and all that stuff back then. Cats. Like, they knew this stuff. Okay? Last but not least, I also wanted to illustrate that the Jed is also the spine. This is why the Jedi staff, or the Jed staff, or yeah, the real Jedi staff, you know, it has sections. The actual one that they, they actually, that the Kamishans and Canaanites and Kushites actually made in real life looks like that. So that it represents the spinal column with the Ankh at the top representing the seat of the soul and the two halves of the brain coming together to unite to make you a real, actual Jedi commanding all of the different wavelengths, okay, of light, of energy, of yourself, of being, of creation, all right? No, that's all I got for y'all now. You know, we'll be back next time with another phonetics lesson. Maybe I even kick in a couple sigils or two. Thanks for coming.